The Advocate has been a vital force in Baton Rouge and the surrounding areas for more than 160 years. I'm Jake Manship, the fourth generation of the Manship family, proudly involved in bringing you the news and information that affects your daily life. Now for a little history about the newspaper. Capital City Press, founded in 1909 by my great-grandfather, Charles P. Manship Sr., created the Morning Advocate to provide an early edition of news prior to the days of radio and television. The State Times, an afternoon publication also owned by Capital City Press, was printed from 1909 until it merged with the Morning Advocate in 1991 to form our current newspaper, The Advocate. The founding news principle established by my great-grandfather in 1909 still holds true today. It is our intention to print a newspaper whose editorials are not for sale and whose news items cannot be suppressed, a newspaper commensurate with the hopes and plans of Baton Rouge. My great uncle Charles Manship Jr. became editor and publisher of the two newspapers in 1947 and for 23 years under his guidance the newspapers grew. In 1970, my granddad Douglas L. Manship Sr. took over from his brother and brought the papers into the modern age. Under his leadership, the old hot lead printing press was replaced by a computerized production center at Blue Bonnet Boulevard. Over the years, the newspaper has expanded its coverage, with news bureaus in the state capitol and in Washington, D.C. Today, The Advocate also has bureaus that cover Acadiana, the River Parishes, the Florida Parishes, Baker's, Zachary, the Felicianas, New Orleans, and the West Side. In 1991, my dad, David, was named publisher. My uncle, Doug Jr., successfully steered the company towards the creation of a web presence in 1995 with the launch of The Advocate Online. The website has continued to expand its content and scope, making TheAdvocate.com the number one commercial website in the Baton Rouge area. Doug Jr. became publisher of The Advocate in 1999. In 2005, he moved us into the modern administrative facility we now occupy on Blue Bonnet Boulevard, and in 2006, opened the new multi-million dollar production plant on Riga Road. Upon my uncle's retirement in 2007, my dad became publisher and COO. Capital City Press is now owned and operated by the third generation of the Manship family, David, Richard, Doug Jr., and Dinah Manship Planche. My family is dedicated to continuing the tradition started by my great-grandfather in 1909 to bring you the news and information you need to live an informed life, in print and online.